Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at list fragments and list fragments enable you to display a list of things with a minimal amount of effort. So to support this example I've created a course.java. I want to show a list of my courses in this case and course.java is just this course bean which has a int which is um, an image ID and it has a string title and a string description and uh, I've also created a class courselist.java and that just extends an array list of courses and all it is is in the constructor there I've added a bunch of new courses, new course objects to the array list and I've also given course.java a string which just returns the title so that we can display it in a list and the stuff that I'm about to show you it would work as well with a just a, an array or an array list equally of strings so this, this stuff isn't important and it's just basically here a bean that contains some data and a list of beans but we could use just an array of strings or something so that's the data and I'm going to right click my package here that I'm bunging everything into and I'm going to create a new class and I'll call this course list fragment and I'll say that, that the superclass of this is going to be list fragment let's just click browse and select the appropriate class here in the right package and I'll click finish and here's my list fragment and I don't need to do much work to get this to display a list at the minimum all I really need to do is I'm going to right click here go to source override implement methods and let's implement let's override the on create method from fragment so we've got this somewhere in here we've got on create so I'll override that and of course by default when you override a method in Eclipse it calls the superclass version of that method and don't forget to leave that in because this actually won't work without a call to the superclass on create so you, you need to have that there and then I'm just going to give this some data so let's say private course, course list courses equals new course list new course list and as I said before this could just be a list of strings or something if you prefer and I'm going to create an array adapter here let's use an array adapter could be an array adapter whoops not list array adapter and it could be an array adapter of strings but I'm going to make it an array adapter of my course objects and I will say I'll call this adapter and set it equal to a new array adapter and for the context here I'm going to use the fragment method get activity and for the text view resource ID let's use a standard layout android.r.id.simple um, not id actually android.r.layout.simple list item 1 that should do the trick and for the last argument this is where you supply your array or your list so I'll supply my courses which just extends array list and I'll save that and see how it looks it looks good and then let's call set list adapter and pass in the adapter there and that's all we need to do to um, implement this fragment at the most basic level so now I'll, I'll add that to my layout. I'll go to my main activity layout here, activity underscore main.xml. And let's just copy this one as an example. And now instead of com.caverprogramming.android.fragments product fragment, I'm going to have here course list fragment. And you have to make sure that you get this all correct to refer to your fragment. Let's give it an idea of list and the layout settings can remain the same and I'll already run that so we can see how it looks 
And now there's one other thing that I'd like to do here, which is if I go to my course list fragment.java, then I'm also gonna I want to respond to item clicks. And I'm not gonna do much with it for the moment, but I just want to show you how to respond to item clicks. So in my fragment Java here, I'm just gonna right click and go to source override implement methods and I'm going to override the on list item click method. Oh, uh, <laughs> I can see that um, it's actually run on, on my phone, but I'll show you the um, screencast here. It's quite dreadful because I forgot some crucial layout. There's my list, but I forgot some crucial layout parameters. So what I'll do is I'll go to my activity underscore main.xml and I forgot to say this is actually a relative layout and I forgot to say that I want to say layout below and for the ID here at sign ID slash product I want to put it below my product fragment here and let's also say center horizontal that might be nice as well or not I don't know in fact let's let's also make the other one center horizontal true there we go and I'll run that again and back to coarseness fragment.java now we'll, we'll deal with this on click thing here so when an item's clicked we're going to get the position of it in this um, list so let's say course in this case and it could be a string or something course course equals courses dot get and supply the position there, position. And just to do something with it for the moment, let's say toast.make text. For the context, again, I passed get activity. For the text, let's say course.get description. And let's just pop it up briefly. Let's say toast.length short and dot show. And I see on my phone now this looks pretty good. I'll just show you that. There we go. It looks a lot better. And let's just run this. And we're going to look shortly at communication between fragments, which um, will be somewhat familiar to you if you've done any kind of GUI programming at all. But um, for this tutorial, we'll just stick to getting this list fragment working so that I've got two fragments to work with that I can demonstrate to you. So it's up on my phone now, and there it is. It's not the prettiest thing in the world because I haven't taken a whole lot of trouble about it. And actually, it's worth mentioning, if you look at the list fragment API page in Android, it shows you how to supply custom formatting for this fragment. And I, I probably won't go into that, but I'm sure you, you can work it out yourself from the um, API page. Um, it's pretty simple, but I'll probably just leave it at default formatting. So now if I click on one of these, we're going to see a toast there we go and we've got a description that describes my course a bit of free advertising for me okay so that's it for this tutorial and we're going to do some more work with fragments in the next tutorial and until then happy coding <laughs>